Hello, hello, welcome back. I am in the garden house again, and I can't tell you how good it feels to be here. If you're new here and you don't know what the garden house is, uh, it's my boyfriend's family's sort of second home up by their farm in Northern California. Normally this is rented out to Airbnb or to long-term tenants, but their current long-term tenant is gone for two weeks and said that we could stay here while he's gone, which was very generous. Um, we actually lived here for four months when COVID started because my boyfriend's family didn't feel comfortable renting it out to Airbnb and having people come through and having to clean it. So I fell in love with this place because of COVID really, I got to live here and I'm so glad to be back. And that inspired me to do this video, which is my travel favorites, but winter edition. And I've never really done anything like this before. I don't really do lifestyle videos. So if you like this and you wanna see more lifestyle content, please let me know, cause I'm feeling a little bit uninspired by beauty and makeup and the beauty industry in general lately. So well, that being said, let's get into it. I do have two beauty products that I wanna talk about. And the first is this, this is the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser. It is so important to have a first cleanse product with me when I travel. I hate when I only have a face wash and I can't like remove all of my sunscreen and my mascara. And I just feel like I never get a good clean unless I have an oil cleanser or a balm cleanser. And the reason that I love this one so much is you know, I can't really travel with an oil cleanser because it gets too messy. And then I feel like balm cleansers always come uh, in travel sizes that are just too small. And for first cleanse products, uh, my boyfriend and I both use them and I put sunscreen and makeup like all over my face and my neck and with sunscreen all over my chest and shoulders. So I go through cleansing balms really, really quickly. And those little tiny ones don't last me long enough. So this by The Ordinary is fantastic. It's so affordable. This is their smaller size, so it's perfect for travel. It's enough for me and my boyfriend to use for a couple weeks. And it's kind of like a hybrid between a, an oil and a cream and a balm. So it kind of looks like this sort of beautiful, like glossy cleanser, moisturizer, hybrid product. It's really interesting and hard to describe. It really just does a beautiful job of removing makeup and sunscreen. Um, it's not the most effective one that I've ever tried, but it's just, it's perfect for when I'm traveling. Anytime I'm traveling, I love having some type of lip product with SPF on hand because you can't really see it right now, but I actually have really bad hyperpigmentation on my lips. I've had this massive lip freckle on my bottom lip for my whole life. And I can tell that as I'm aging, that hyperpigmentation is getting worse. So I bought the Color Science um, Lip Shine Broad Spectrum SPF 30, and this is the shade Rose. And not only is it great because it has sunscreen, but it's a lip gloss that has a beautiful texture and color. Um, it has a very slight peppermint scent, which usually is not my favorite, but it goes away really fast and it's super subtle. So that's what the color looks like on my hand. That's rose. It's very sheer, which is great. And I'll add a little bit now. What I love about this is that the texture really does just feel like a gloss. It doesn't feel like a sunscreen. I know that this has zinc oxide. Yeah, it's 6.6% .6 zinc and it just feels like a lip gloss. It's not sticky. It feels pretty balmy. It feels pretty nourishing. Um, it's comfortable. So really great product. I would much rather reach for something like this than like a, you know, a chapstick with sunscreen. Moving on to more exciting things. Um, this is sort of my winter edition because for this trip, I was driving from our house in the Bay Area up to my boyfriend's family's other house in Northern California. So when I'm driving, I can pack more because I can really pack my car full. But if you're flying, I totally acknowledge you may not be able to bring all of these things. But if I can, I always travel with a candle Candles are absolutely essential for my mood. They're essential for me to sort of like turn off my brain when it's ready to relax and, you know, get out of the workspace and just start enjoying the night. I really have to light a candle every single night. Otherwise, I'm, I, I wouldn't be able to function. My favorite for travel in the wintertime is Byrito Treehouse. This really does smell like a treehouse. It's incredible. 
What I love about it is that there's a little bit of a sweetness to it so that it's not, it's not too woody, it's not too masculine, but it's definitely a more masculine scent, which is great because my boyfriend loves it too. Uh, it's really perfect for both of us. And let me pull up the notes on the website. Okay, so this is the little mini size of the Byredo Treehouse Candle. This is the 70 gram version and it's $45, but they have a bigger version for 85. Um, and the scent of this, the notes are bamboo, pimento, hay, labdanum, myrrh, and leather. So definitely smell the bamboo and hay, definitely smell the myrrh, definitely smell the leather. That definitely comes through. But there's something sweet in there. I also don't know what lab, labdanum, labdum, lab... Labden, I don't know. It's really good. So if you're someone who doesn't like super masculine scents and you don't like super feminine scents, this is just the perfect winter candle. And it comes with this like sexy black wax. I just, it's a vibe. So when I'm traveling and I'm driving, I always bring this bad boy. This is my sun visor. I love it. I got it on Amazon for like $15 maybe. I mean, it's not like, beautiful it's not like a cool style piece but the reason i love it is when you're sitting in a car for long periods of time you oftentimes or at least for me in california i'll just be driving like north or south usually and that means you're sitting in the car and the sun is on like one side of your face for a long time so i take this and i'll kind of like do that <laughs> I know it's crazy, but I'm really trying to be good about sun protection now. So this has been really cool. Next up when I travel, I always take with me this jewelry case. For years, I would just put all of my jewelry in Ziploc bags and that was a, a total disaster. I just like tangled all my necklaces. So this is what it looks like inside. You put your necklaces like that and they can just kind of dangle and then you close it and they never get tangled up. And then I just put all my earrings and my rings in here. And you have all these other pockets and things, but I actually really don't own that much jewelry. Um, but this is, I guess, from a company called Lillian Drew. I don't remember where I bought this or how long ago, but I'm sure that you could get similar items on Amazon or something like that. Um, but what I like is that it's just so compact. You can really just throw it in the bottom of your suitcase and know that your jewelry's in one place, it's safe, and it's not gonna get tangled up or lost. So really always take that with me. All right, this is kind of bougie, but this is an item that I cannot travel without. Doesn't matter how long my trip is. Doesn't matter if I'm flying or driving. I am taking my snooze white noise machine. I've struggled with insomnia my entire life. Uh, I finally really now got it under control for the most part. The white noise machine really helps me fall asleep because I'm such a sensitive sleeper. Noise, light, movements in the bed, anything like that will wake me up instantly. So the snooze machine is absolutely essential and uh, I will play a clip of it so you can hear what it sounds like. It's also pretty lightweight, like it's not heavy at all. It really doesn't take up that much space in my bag. But if you're someone who struggles with insomnia, it is worth it to leave out an extra item of clothing or an extra pair of shoes to get a good night's sleep when you travel. So the snooze machine is incredible. It has up to like 10 different volume settings and you control it from your phone so you don't have to like get up to turn it on or off. It's incredible, can't live without it. Another winter travel essential for me is this jacket. This is the Aloe Flurry Sherpa jacket. This is the color bone and the size medium. And I'll show you what that looks like. I hope you can see me okay. Again, this is the size medium and it's purposefully oversized. I wanted uh, something that was just a little bit bigger. So you can see it's like pretty snowball-y. It's huge. Yeah, it's like pretty big. I also have the black in small when I want to feel a little bit cuter. So I think you can see it's just a little bit smaller and like a little more cinched at the waist than size medium. But I will say this, the smaller size, the collar kind of like 
hits my neck because it's a little tighter. And I like that on the medium size, the collar doesn't touch my neck as much. I don't know why that bugs me out. I think it's because I wear makeup on my neck to match my foundation on my face. So I don't like that as much, but this looks cuter, I think. But the medium feels better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so size small. There you go. Back to size medium. Yeah, this one's definitely not as cute looking, but it feels great. My second to last winter travel essential is an item that I've only had for about a month now, but I am absolutely hooked. And it's these, my Uggs. I know, I know Uggs. You love them or you hate them. You really do, but I love them. They're so fucking comfortable. I know that pretty much everyone has already tried Uggs. These are like their mid height and they're super dirty. I've been walking around in the mud but I can't stop wearing them. I have not gone a day without wearing them since I got them. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing now. I'm super cozy, like just going for comfort over style, that's for sure. Okay, the next product is like a little bit ridiculous, but it's the one I'm most excited about. It has nothing to do with winter time or travel really, but it's just a new part of my routine that I cannot forfeit. It's this, it's a gooseneck. For your phone. So I'm going to show you how it works. I got this for 25 bucks on Amazon. Best money I've ever spent. So you put it around your head. So you're just like lying in bed and check it out. You can just put your phone right here. It has this little piece, which is magnetic and you put a small magnetic strip on the back of your phone. And so I can be in bed at night and I can be like scrolling on Instagram or watching, you know, ASMR videos on YouTube. And it's just right here. And I can just like, text. I can watch videos. You can manipulate it to go higher, to go, you know, lower, whatever you want. It's incredible. Um, everybody's making fun of me for this, but this is the best money I've ever spent. I no longer have like really tired hands at night. My hands aren't getting as sore from holding my phone constantly. And you know, I have a YouTube channel and an Instagram and social media is a big part of my life. So the fact that I can just like flatten this out and throw it on top of my suitcase is such a game changer, especially if you're someone who likes watching YouTube videos when you fall asleep like I do. Um, game changer, game changer. That's it, that's all my wintertime travel essentials. If you like this video with more lifestyle recommendations, please let me know either in the comment section below or by giving this a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because it really helps my channel grow. I hope you guys enjoyed this and wherever you are, I hope you are happy and safe and healthy. Until next time.